Mm. There we go. That should do it. This textbook Emma lent me is really helpful. I might actually be able to get decent grades on next month's midterms thanks to her. Doubt I'll be able to even come close to matching her own grades, though. Or Machias's, for that matter. <laughs> I wasn't trying to help you. But I did cause you some trouble during last month's field study, so... Whether you're a noble or not is beside the point. The bottom line is you lied to me. And I simply cannot trust those who lie. There's a lot about both Machias and Eusis that we don't know. Maybe in time we can discover something about them that'll help us mend their relationship a little. This seems like a good place to stop for a quick breather. Aben time is about to start anyway. The day is done and it's time to cast off your cares right here. It's the Misty you know and love coming to you live from Radio Trista. Oh, actually, I guess it's already started. Misty's voice is always so soothing. We're now in the second half of May, and the greenery all over Erebonia is beginning to reach its peak. It's the perfect time of year to enjoy nature, and the weather is absolutely perfect for a great hike. Listeners in Heimdall have Modder Park to enjoy with its spectacular glass garden. Though, for those willing to hop on a train, I heartily recommend a trip to Lunaria Nature Park. Administrative issues kept it closed for a while, but it finally reopened this month and it's worth making the trip. You can relax and take in the scenery of this vast, almost mystical forest, and then grab a cold beer on the way back. I can't think of a better way to spend the weekend, can you? Whoops, with all you students tuning in, maybe I shouldn't recommend boozing it up, should I? You might not be able to grab a cold one just yet, but fresh milk or fruit juice are pretty refreshing in their own way. <laughs> anyway, let's see who sent us some mail today, shall we? This first one's from future three-star chef from Berea Hard. All right, it's time for this month's practical exam. I'm sure you don't need a refresher on how these things work, so let's just get started, shall we? Still not used to these things. Don't know that I'll ever be. It's changed form. Now that you mention it, this one does look different from last month's. Feeling with their settings changes their appearance too, apparently. I really don't know how they work, but it's not like they act that actually matters. You know, it's kind of discouraging when the instructor who's sending us in the battle is so unconcerned. <sighs> Alright, let's begin. Reen, Elisa, Laura, Gaia, step forward. Sounds like we're up first. I have every confidence in our abilities. Yeah, with the four of us together? This should be no trouble at all. Good luck, you guys. Hmm. Already? Okay. Show me how it's done. We have nothing to fear. Meet the following condition. Cancel an enemy arc. All right. Now. I've got you. It's my turn. Maybe I shouldn't put the two piercers together. My turn. Let's do this! Okay, right. Come on! Right! Shatter! No! I've got you! Alright! They're open! It's my turn! 
Now! An opening! My turn! There! Go! Here! Ow, leave it to me. Do an arc so that I can cancel it. Leave it to me. There. Now. Go. I can do this. There we go. Finally. Right. Hey. Go. There. Saved me more than once, too, you know. Well done. All that hard work during last month's field study and in the old schoolhouse has clearly paid off. Ha, huh, you may be right. We fought well together. Indeed, I would have no objections to another round. Let's not and say we did. Okay, next team. Machias, Usus, Elliot, Emma, Fee. Step forward. All of us at one time? Which means... Ugh, let's just get this over with. Hmm, I don't need you telling me what to do. What was that? There they go. Yes, yes, you hate each other. We get it. Are y'all ready? Okay, begin. Huh, huh. We even had one more member than Reen's group. Hardly surprising. I knew this was going to be a struggle, but I had no idea your performance would be so unremarkable. I hope you two in particular have a good long think about what you did wrong. This outcome is largely your fault, after all. Ugh. This is the first time I've ever heard her speaking so harshly, almost like a teacher. Well, considering the situation, it's no wonder she's frustrated. today's practical exam. Next, I'll be announcing the details of this weekend's field study. Each of you, please come forward and take one of these. These assignments. Berea Hard and St. Ark. Berea Hard and St. Ark. Both very well-known cities here in the Empire. Bereahard's the capital of the Kreutzen province in the east, right? And St. Ark is the capital of Sutherland in the south. Two provincial capitals. They seem like fair choices. I guess they are, but that's the least of our worries. Is this some kind of sick joke? Instructor, what are you trying to prove? Do you have some sort of personal vendetta against us or something? For a change, I agree with him. This is ludicrous. 
I refuse to accept these group allocations. Change them at once. I don't know. They seem pretty perfect from where I'm standing. Besides, you're from Berehard, so putting you in Group A was a no-brainer. <sighs> then put me in Group B! I'm not thrilled at the thought of going to St. Art either, but it's better than gallivanting off to his hometown. Besides, everyone knows Berehard is like a breeding ground for nobles and their dusty old ideas. The place is crawling with them. Well, I can't deny that. Especially since that's exactly why I put you in Group A to begin with. I'm no army officer, so I'm not about to go telling you that my orders are absolute and such. That's much too military for my liking. But I am your instructor, and it's my duty to look out for your best interests, which I feel is exactly what I'm doing here. So if you have any objections, then how about the two of you try to make me listen to them by force? Uh, interesting. You're not seriously going to... Oh, come on, don't... <laughs> Male pride is so predictable. I knew you couldn't possibly turn down an offer like that. And I wouldn't have it any other way. them a hand why I'll take on all three of you why do I have to join in on this yes instructor some extreme extra credit. If you think you can convince me to change your assignments, well, let's just see how well you measure up. All right, show me what you've got. Here we go. Why do I have to join them? <laughs> Very well. Jesus out. My turn. Go. Got it. Leave it to me. Here we go. Right. Here we go. <laughs> Zero on art. That. Yeah, that's great. Ah! I'm sorry. This game's rude happening. to shoot me for point blank. Okay. I had no idea she was that strong. I believe she was holding back, too. Hmm. Her combat style is most unique. I couldn't even hazard a guess as to what school she represents. I guess this means... Yep. Decision's final. <laughs> Chalk one up for the educator. 
Group A and Group B will be heading to their destinations this weekend as planned. Good luck, everybody. I'll be expecting souvenirs. You did really well, Reen. I don't sense anyone else on this floor. Seems like everyone's already out of their rooms. Suppose I should head down too. Oh, I can't uh, see the map, okay. Morning. You two are up early. I want to make this very clear before we leave. You are my classmate. You are not my friend. We may be in the same group, but I would appreciate it if you would not address me as casually as you seem want to do. Um... Our class's vice president is as stubborn as ever. Say that again! I dare you! <sighs> Good morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, um, it looks like we're all gathered, then. Shall we be leaving? We might as well. Though there's still some time before our train leaves. That's fine. I have no objections either. Uh, well, let's go. This is going to be a long weekend. Ah, you made it. Hey, good morning. Are you leaving now too? Yeah, I'm hoping we'll be able to reach Bray Hard before noon. Looks like you guys already have your tickets, huh? Yeah, the train to the capital should be arriving any minute now. Our destination, St. Ark, is about as far from Trista as yours, I believe. Yes, we're both about five hours from Trista by express train. I've never ridden on a train for so long before. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Guess they're the same as ever, huh? Uh, I'm amazed they're not sick of the whole ordeal by now. It's getting tedious. Hey. If anyone can do it, it's you, Reen. Uh, do what? Get those two to make peace with one another. I couldn't make it work, but I suspect you have a much better chance. Do you really think it's even... Passenger service for Heimdall are you now arriving on Platform 2. We ask that all passengers wishing to board please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete stop. That's us. I'm afraid we've got to run. May Ideos be with you. Let's all do our very best. You bet. Take care, everyone. Bye. I guess we should buy our tickets and line up for a very hard train then. Yes, let's, if we must. Though I'm loath to patronize the city so crawling with nobles. Hmm. Uh... Good morning, Class 7. Group A is headed to Brayhard today, correct? Yes, that's right. I believe there's a direct line that stops at Keldick, isn't there? Indeed there is. Every other train heading east from here is the direct line. And the next one will be arriving soon, so I suggest buying your tickets now. Certainly, that'll be five passengers from Brayhart. 
I'll have those tickets for you in just a moment. Passenger service bound for Keldic, Brayhard, now arriving on Platform 2. We ask that all passengers who should board, please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete stop. Shall we review what we know about where we're going? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <clears throat> Would you mind giving us an overview, Yusis? You're from Rayhard City, after all. <sighs> if that's what you want, I'll oblige. But are you sure you wouldn't rather hear from the group's finest intellectual mind instead? I'm sure he'd be able to give you a far more critical analysis without any of the pro-noble bias I'm certain to eject. Are you suggesting that I allow my views to cloud my ability to see things objectively? No, oh, not at all. You were intelligent enough to score second on the entrance exam, after all. And you spent your every waking moment since, since with your nose glued to a textbook, studying as if your life depended on it. So I'm sure your knowledge is quite vast in terms of book smarts, even if it is lacking in virtually every other regard. Why you... Please stop, both of you. Well, it's easy to see why you scored so miserably in last month's field study. What was that? Green? Last month, Group B got an E on their field study. If that had been a paper exam, it would have been a fail, and a low one at that. Do you two really want that to happen again? Well, hmm. I hope you're not naively suggesting we just put all our differences aside and become best friends. Of course not. We were chosen to be in class seven because of our differences, in fact. We come from different backgrounds, so naturally we're going to have conflicting opinions and ways of looking at things. And no doubt we all have a few beliefs that we're not willing to compromise on no matter what. But that doesn't change the fact that for the next few days we're all part of the same group. We're all partners. Green. Hmm, I was wondering what you were getting at. You have to be joking. I refuse to accept the idea of that. I'm not saying we have to be friends, but we're in the same group and we're working towards the same objective. Let me try putting it another way. We're united against a common enemy, Group B, and unless we want to lose to them, we have to work together here. What? Green? I wouldn't have taken you to be the competitive type. Of course I am. I care about winning and losing just as much as the next guy and get just as frustrated when other people hold me back. I'm jealous of how good your grades are, for example. All three of you. I feel like I'm losing the race and have to struggle to catch up. And it was beyond frustrating when we lost against the instructor the other day. Ah, uh, I see. Mm. There's no denying that she's strong. Incredibly strong, in fact. I don't know what kind of experience or training she's been through to become that way, but it's simply a fact. I just feel like if we'd been able to work together a little better, if we'd been able to form proper combat links with one another, we may have at least earned the odds, even the odds a little. You would have. Sarah's only strong because she knows how to fight. If you'd been able to work together, you could have withstood her onslaught a little longer. You might not have won, but you wouldn't really have lost either. Me. Exactly. A 
Lisa, Laura, and Elliot are all in the same group as last time. And Gaia seems like the type who can work well with anyone. They'll be a strong team. Yeah, they'll be able to give their absolute best no matter what comes their way. Honestly, if we don't do something about our own shortcomings, their score could easily out double ours. Enough, I get it already. And it's not like I have much of a choice but to go along with your yay team attitude now, do I? Indeed, I would prefer not to cooperate with this farce. But I have no intention of standing by and accepting defeat. So you're saying, until this trip is over, we will call a truce. Agreed? Hmm, very well. The very notion of working under these circumstances is ludicrous, but I am more than capable of enduring such idios idiocy if I must. The same goes for me. <sighs> well, at least it seems they might actually try to cooperate with one another this time, right? That's a significant improvement over last one. I do feel a little better. This is an improvement? I shudder to think what things must have been like last time. Alright, here's what I can tell you. Rehard is the most important city in the eastern Croizon Providence. Its population is roughly 300,000, making it relatively large even by municipal standards. The hilly region surrounding the city is inhabited by innumerable minks, which are prized for their fur. Furthermore, the Croizon Providence as a whole is also widely renowned for the high quality gemstones mined there. Yes, gems and fur are regarded as Brayhard's two main specialties. There's even a part of the city dedicated solely to those who work with them, isn't there? That would be Artisan Street in South Brayhard, yes. Large numbers of artisans gather there to prove their worth. There's a shop in Heimdall that specializes in gems produced in Brayhard as well. Of course, only nobles and the ridiculously wealthy have any reason to patronize it. Can't see myself ever going there. Which brings up perhaps the most important thing to note. A fact of which you are already quite aware, but it can't be stressed enough. Rayhard is, at its heart, the city of nobles. What's been said about it in regards in that regard is no exaggeration. It's really true, huh? I've heard nobles don't actually make up the majority of the population, though. That's correct. However, from artisan streets to the enormous provincial army guardhouse, to the central plaza with its giant cathedral, to the airport designed to handle the largest of airships. Rayhard is a city that was developed with the nobility and the Alberea house hold in particular at its center. So it really isn't an exaggeration then. Hmm, I'm surprised you're able to discuss your own family so objectively. There's no point in denying the truth. As long as we're in Rayhard, you'd be well advised to keep your usual anti-noble vitriol to yourself. Unless you fancy becoming a very friendly with the provincial army at any rate. I know that. I can hold my tongue when I have to. Uh, is it bad that I'm actually seeing this as kind of encouraging in a weird sort of way? It feels like we're making progress. 